Welcome to the 22nd installment in Trading Strategy Guide's Trading Education Series. Today, I'm going to continue to discuss the MT4 menu. Stick around. Hi, this is Tim from Trading Strategy Guides. Thanks for coming back for this installment of our Trading Education Series. In today's video, we're going to continue to talk about the MT4 menu. As usual, this video is not sponsored by MetaTrader, MetaQuotes, or whoever. So what you'll hear is my totally unvarnished opinion. And be sure to stay to the end of the video and I'll show you the dream trade for this week. Let's do it. In the last few weeks, I've shown you the MT4 toolbars and the beginning of the MT4 menu. Today, we're going to take a look at the rest of the MT4 menu. The MT4 menu contains all the functions you'll need for your regular use of MT4. You can think of the toolbars as being your favorites list. Pretty much anything that's in the menu can be added to a toolbar. And that's what I do, because it requires less mouse motion to use the toolbar. But the menu allows easy access to all the things you don't regularly use. Last week we talked about the first three menu items, File, View, and Insert. Today we'll start with Charts. First on the menu is the Indicators list. This will show you the indicators that are on your current chart. You can see on this chart I've got two moving averages and the toolbar that shows this information down here in the lower right. You can edit and delete indicators from this chart. Simply select it and click Edit. Dialog will come up that will allow you to make changes to the moving average in this case. Or you can also select it and hit Delete and it will remove that particular indicator. The next item shows a submenu of the drawing objects on your chart. Selecting Objects List from this menu shows you a list of all the drawing objects on your chart. The Drawing Objects dialog box shows all the details of each drawing object. It then allows you to select them, edit the objects to your heart's content, delete these objects. This happens to be this trend line right here. Clicking Delete will delete it. The other items in this submenu allow you to delete certain groups of drawing objects. All the selected ones, all the arrows. You can even undo a delete if you accidentally delete something. The next three items on the chart allows you to select the type of chart you want to see. A bar chart, candlestick chart, or a line chart. That function is just like these buttons right here on the toolbar that we talked about. In addition, you can select foreground chart to be sure the candles are drawn on top of any drawing object or indicator on the chart. Next is the time frames menu. This allows you to select the time frame of your current chart. This is a 15 minute. Back to the daily. This is just like selecting from this toolbar right here. Next in the charts menu is the template submenu. This template submenu allows you to do everything that you could do using this toolbar button right here. You can save templates, load templates, remove templates, or you can select an individual template that you have saved. A chart template is simply a place where you can save a chart setup, including indicators, EAs, drawing objects, and so on, and apply all of that to another chart. I'll be going over this in more detail in a future video. Next on the menu is Refresh. 
Selecting this will cause your current chart to refresh the price data in case it gets wonky, which it does once in a while. If you think you're missing price information on the chart, you have weird looking candles or something, you can refresh it just to be sure that you have the latest price information available. The next item on the chart is the grid. This will allow you to add a time and price grid to your chart. I've got the grid in a very contrasty color here so you can see it really well. I don't usually use a grid, uh, or if I do, I use a very subdued color. I, I just think the grid clutters the chart up and makes it hard to see what the candles are doing. The next selection adds volume bars to the bottom of the chart as you can see right down here. I've said this lots of times before, so bear with me if you've already heard this a hundred times. I'm not sure who came up with the idea of having the volume bars on the same chart as the candles, because they always seem to interfere with each other like they do right here. For instance, you have to look really close to see where the candle ends and where the volume bar begins right here. Those of you who have followed my videos for a while know that I like to put my volume bars in a separate sub window to keep them from running into each other. But that's just my humble opinion. Your mileage may vary. The next two items in the menu are the auto scroll and the chart shift. That corresponds to the function of these two buttons right here in the toolbar. Auto scroll ensures that the latest candle is in the rightmost position right here. The chart shift allows you to add space on the right hand side of your chart. I talked in more detail about those functions in the first MT4 toolbar video. The next two items in the chart allow you to zoom in and zoom out. You can see the magnifier icons right here and that corresponds to these two menu items. That allows you to zoom in and zoom out on the candles. Step-by-step -step simply shifts the chart one bar to the left until it's all the way to the left and the most recent candle is appearing on the right. You can also do this with the F12 function key on your keyboard. So if I turn the scroll off and move it over when I select step-by-step -step, it will move one step to the left each time. I never use this function. I guess you should never say never, right? And lastly for the charts menu, selecting properties will show the properties dialog allowing you to select the colors of each item on the chart. It will also allow you to select common parameters for the current chart. I'll discuss this in more detail before we wrap up our discussion of MetaTrader. The next menu item is the Tools menu. At the top of that is New Order. This obviously brings up a dialog box that allows you to submit a new trading order. We'll talk about orders in a future video. The next item in the Tools menu is the History Center. The History Center is an advanced function that will allow you to see what historical price data is stored in your platform. It's divided up by symbol and time frame. MT4 downloads data from the data center only as you need it, so this will allow you to see specifically each data point that currently resides on your system. It will also allow you to download data that's not already there. That will happen automatically as you open a chart on a specific symbol and time frame. The details of this are beyond the scope of this training, but there's a lot of information available online regarding this ability. The next two items in the Tools menu, Global Variables and MetaQuotes Language Editor, are for folks who program indicators and EAs. Again, this is way beyond the scope of this training, but there's a lot of information available online on this subject. Lastly is the Options menu item. Selecting this will bring up the Options dialog that will allow you to modify all kinds of cool things on your platform. I don't recommend messing with it unless you're prepared to break stuff and then learn how to fix it. But that's been my middle name for all my life. 
Yep, they used to call me Tim Breaks Stuff and Learns How to Fix It Black. <laughs> I know that's kind of long for a middle name. I blame my I blame my parents. Anyway, I'll talk about this dialogue a little bit more in a future video. After the Tools menu is the Window menu. This will allow you to open new chart windows and arrange them in various configurations. Tiled cascades, tiled horizontally, tiled vertically, and then you can arrange the icons that appear. I suggest you open a bunch of charts and play with this to see exactly how it works and what it does. It's pretty straightforward. The last item is the Help menu. It has all the typical Windows type help functions, plus there are some specific to MT4 including a whole list of these MQL5 website links. The MQL5 website is the go-to place for anyone who wants to develop software for Metatrader. MQL4 and MQL5 are the names of the programming languages for MT4 and MT5 respectively. For those that care, you'll find these programming languages very similar to the C and C++ programming languages. You also see links down here to the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store for the MT4 and MT5 apps that are available for those platforms. Wraps up our discussion of the MetaTrader menu system. Next week we'll look at some of the more complex dialog boxes in MT4. Let's take a quick look at the Dream Trade for this week. Dream Trades is a new service from Trading Strategy Guides. I've been testing this system out for a few weeks now and I'm getting some really sweet stock trades. For just a quick overview, Dream Trades shows you selected stock issues that meet the Dream Trades criteria. The stocks are selected by their trade volume and other fundamentals and also by the price with respect to the three moving averages, the 50 day, the 150 day, and the 200 day simple moving averages. This happens to be the Sleeping with the Bears page that shows potential sell trades. Last week we looked at the BATRK trade which actually kinda had a weak trigger on Tuesday at the close. I didn't take this one which of course turned out to be a good thing. But here's what I saw. Everything looked great when the price pushed down to here corresponds to this level right in here. But then it pulled way back, almost back to the 50. And it did all of that on less than average volume. I just didn't like the looks of that, so I stayed out of this trade. Remember, these are discretionary trades. If you did get into this and you took a hit, that's okay. That happens sometimes. Just keep plugging. You didn't do anything wrong because this was a signal. We just did not get the volume spike that I would like to see on these trades. Now again, this week I looked for a setup that wasn't too far along. Right now it's about 2 p.m. New York time on Tuesday, so the market will close shortly. AUB or Atlantic Union Bank looks like it could hold a day or so before breaking. Now you can see it's been in this descending triangle now for some time with declining volume. So close below the 50 right here with good volume would be a great trade setup I believe. This is the reason why I like the Dream Trade stocks because they fit so well with my trading pick strategies. Taking the dream trades is simple but requires a bit of analysis. Just about 30 minutes before the market closes or about 3.30 p.m. New York time, take a look at the charts and find the ones that have been trending in the correct direction. Like this right here. Also, definitely want to see a spike in volume on the breaking candle. Now keep in mind that when this one breaks, you could see a little bit of stalling right in this area right here. So that's okay because it's going to take a little bit to get through that level. 
Now when this breaks, the stop loss is going to be 105% of the entry price. So look at your entry, multiply it by 1.05, and that's where you'll want to put your stop loss. Your first target is 95% of the stock price. So look at your entry price, multiply it by 0.95, and that will be your first target. If the price starts going sideways, we'll close it and move on. That way we won't be wasting our equity on something that's just sitting there doing nothing. Now when the price hits our first target, we'll move our stop loss up to break even. Each time the stock moves 5% in our direction, we'll move our stop loss 5%, so it will always be 5% behind the current price. And that's our dream trade for this week. If you want more information about dream trades, just click the link below in the description box. And be sure to come back next Wednesday at 3 p.m. as we continue our discussion of the MT4 trading platform. Also, don't miss my trading picks videos on Fridays and Mondays right here at Trading Strategy Guide's YouTube channel at 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when these videos come out. Have a great Wednesday, and I'll see you with a new trading pick on Friday.